Hello, 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 Fabrice here. So, hey, nice to see you again so soon. I posted last week, and, um, well, here's another video, and this is in honor of Joseph Lemons, who had a, a, a right, rightfully uh, deserved moan on my last uh, video saying that I'm not posting enough. Truth is, I have been shooting lots and lots and lots of videos for my courses. So if you want to see lots of my videos, feel free to uh, check them out on my um, shop with the link below. So, uh, and also to uh, N. Noni, who was wondering how I did these uh, caustic effects on the wall, whether it was on the material or uh, in the lights. So, obviously, this has been completely faked. It's not a real caustic effect. Although I have seen a video uh, showing how it can be done. So I will be uh, looking into that, definitely. If anybody knows anything about how to do real-time caustics, um, you know, please feel free to drop a uh, link in the comments. So, this one, though, it was done doing um, using light functions in the light, yes, and it was much, much, much simpler than I thought when I did it. So here it goes how I did it. Created a spotlight really, really wide um, um, outer cone angle, and I think I put the inner cone as well because otherwise you get a big, big, big fall off. Obviously, that's why that's what they're here for. These two. So, uh, and then I sort of just tweaked a load of um, settings there. But the main thing being really this light function material here, and you've got here is this um, what I've called caustic wall. So here I've created a material instance, as I always always do, uh, to be able to tweak my variables here. So. Um, you know, it's <laughs> pretty self-explanatory. So let's just go straight in and have a look at the material that I created. So super simple, caustics, um, just one uh, node here because it's a light function that I've chosen here. So it's just a, a creating a simple, sim normal material and then you just select light function here. And all you've got is the um, emissive Okay, and then, so, well, it's not that complicated here. It's mainly three parts. So this is a texture of caustics that I rendered ages ago uh, using, I think there's a little software you can, um, can't even remember what it's called to generate these caustics. Otherwise, you can do a search for caustics and you'll get this image. Well, I'll just, um, I'll put it in the comments to download if you want I'll put it up and so you can use this one and uh, yeah fairly high res 2k not massive could be higher and there you go it's just black and white image obviously so oh, back to our material so three parts of um, the texture being basically moving around so I'll just preview this one start previewing and I'll put it as a as a plane so here we can see that it's moving and I've multiplied the scale so I've played around with the scale um, for the uh, yeah for the tiling here and using a constant two vector so I've multiplied the uh, width and height different differently to try and get a different um, when they overlap so let's have a look at that here I've got so I've created three and these two um, overlap so it creates this kind of effect so they're all the same image but because I've changed the UVs um, they kind of look at different scales so that's uh so we'll go back to that to the uv so the, let's just look at the panner so this 
uh, let's just look at this one down here. So this one, oh no, this one, it has uh, the UV coordinates and it's got the speed, okay? And so the speed is um, just that parameter here that we find back in the instance material. And that needs to be appended. So that here I multiply the speed by a basically a variable that I give myself um, that I call speed factor here that was do, is going to affect everything, you know, so that's the whole um, the whole speed of all the, the um, core stick moving, whereas then afterwards I will have finer speed adjustments for um, each individual one. So that's why I've got speed one, speed two, and speed factors. And it's not very um, eloquent names, but uh, you see what I mean, hopefully. And so I put these through the um, the append build, the X, Y. So it's uh, here, it's in the X, and Y will be zero. And then, um, so they will be moving in just one direction. Right, so this one, I guess, is the one that is moving horizontally. This one. Uh, sorry. Start previewing. Yeah. Okay. So that's how moving horizontally because y is zero and x is positive. So it's going that way. Okay. So same thing, uh, same thing down here. So now for the UV, I just take the texture coordinate to so drag that in. Click, uh, press U on the keyboard actually and then click. You get that. And so here I've got this mask, which enables me to only have one element. So here we'll have other um, R or G being, you know, the X and the Y of the texture coordinate. So here I only bring in the R and then put that into this, this value. And then that enables me to tile into just one direction as well so i guess i can't quite remember why i did that it was just sort of useful at the time because i wanted it to tile in a certain way so now let's just play around with these and see what that does so we've got tile you know it's just actually it just enables me to play with the scale um and in, in you know in a way that sort of was a bit more artistic and allowed me to sort of play around in real time like this so it made sense at the time anyway and hope it makes sense now and so all that gets plugged in and into these lerp um, um lerp nodes here just and they just blended 1.5 and again blended and then the final multiply to for the brightness uh, here, I guess, which is called, I called intensity. Yeah, so that's the uh, final multiplier to go into the emissive. And there you go. And that's how it works. Um, not save. That's how it works. Um, and it's very, yeah, you can obviously change the brightness through the light intensity afterwards as well. So it can get pretty bright, of course. And while I'm here, I thought there's just one more thing I'd show you, uh, which is pretty cool, which I do talk about in the course, by the way, <laughs> about VXGI. So that's, um, I'll turn the caustics off. It's the um, real-time GI for Unreal Engine that's built in, that doesn't need any installing. Um, you just need to change a variable in the config.ini, I think, something like that. Let's look it up online. Um, but here, so when I turn this sun on, so hopefully you will see, I've got a little sequencer here. So when the uh, GI, uh, so actually I had turned it, turned it off. So now you will see that this very strong... Um, light is going to affect the ceiling um, hopefully you see very very slightly I'll just bump it up 20 
you see how it really started to brighten up this area. So, um, yeah, I think for this kind of effect, it works quite well. Um, I wouldn't sort of say, you know, real-time GI is sort of a um, practical effect today, but I think just for this kind of nice, you know, bounce light um, effect, it, uh, it worked. If, if that's all that's required of it. Anyway, so there you go. Hopefully uh, that is useful. Go back to the caustics and um, re remember to register for the webinar on 30th of November. Hope to see many of you there. All right, see you later.